Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to, so I'm going to show you guys how to always run a program in administrator mode. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So let's just say you have a application, perhaps somewhere in your start menu, perhaps you don't have a shortcut on your desktop. Just want to go ahead and left click on the start button, and type in whatever the application you want to always run as an administrator. So let's say I'm going to run CCleaner. Just as an example here, you want to go ahead and right click on the best match, which should be the application you always want to run as an administrator, and then left click on where it says open file location. So now that we're in here, there should be a little shortcut, and you would apply the same philosophy if it was a desktop shortcut. We just happen to go through the start menu, so every time you open up the start menu, it's going to launch this shortcut. That's all the start menu does, it just navigates over to the shortcut anyway. But if you had a shortcut created on your desktop, you'd have to do the same thing. Or just copy the shortcut once we're done and replace it, whatever's on your desktop, whatever you prefer. But anyway, now that we have this shortcut in our programs folder, we're going to go ahead and right click on it. Left click on properties. Now if you always want to run it as an administrator, I'm just going to drag this up here. You want to go ahead and left click on Advanced, and then underneath Choose the Advanced Properties you want for this shortcut, check mark where it says Run as Administrator. This option allows you to run this shortcut as an administrator while protecting your computer from unauthorized activity. Left click on OK, and then left click on Apply. And if you get access denied, you will need to provide administrator permission. Left click on Continue, and then left click on OK. Close out of here, and now we went back to Start Menu and try to run that application. It should run it as an administrator. Just keep in mind if you have any shortcuts on your taskbar or perhaps on your desktop, you might have to recreate them so that it redirects the application to always launch as an administrator. So pretty straightforward on that front, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.